Hey, hey, Blue Table fans. We're gonna take a look at these two Hordes models, and if we're lucky, we'll hear uh, Janine singing in the background. She... <laughs> Is that it? Is that it? Oh, there you go. All right, she's in today. She's in today doing instructions. There's the projects that need instructions done for them. And then those will go out to assembly. That's how we roll. Projects getting through. Okay. So, uh, oh, oh, hello. That's no good. So anyway, you got this Rhinodon. Here's the cards for those. Got this Rhinodon. Oh, by the way, this is the camera we use for whatever it is. And uh, so this is... I, I just love sort of the earthy flesh tones on this guy. And the trick to getting a very convincing natural look is to do layer upon layer upon layer upon layer and alternate sort of washes and dry brush and then uh, maybe, maybe just a little bit of highlighting. But usually the organic methods work best for organic figures. So anyway, uh, and the skin here isn't gray. It's got kind of a, a, a greenish... Uh, middle, not middle stone, oh my gosh, what's it called? Stone gray type of uh, look to it. So even the skin is kind of warm. And in fact, this whole figure, if you look at it, just has warm tones all over. Now this is a Croak Hunter, and or a Croak Hunter, whatever it is. And you know what I love about War Machine and Hordes is that the older figures, they're still good. You still see people playing them, using them, uh, comboing them with new things, just fantastic. So War Machine is a great game, I think, for for balance and gameplay, if that's what you're looking for. So this little guy, this little guy is fantastic. Additional die on his spear against living models. Only eight inches, but uh, not not too bad. Not too bad. Uh, though their culture is simple and without technology, they possess the determination and fortitude of natural hunters. So anyway, but so if you look at this guy, you'll see his armor, like his shoulder armor, is like these little tortoise shells. And he's got sort of this shell or whatever it is, sort of this alligator hide um, bracer. And on his back, these uh, other tortoise shells. So really a great fig, standing the test of time. Would be a great anthropomorphic character too for an, for an RPG. I would definitely use this for that. All right, folks, thanks for tuning in, and I hope you got your inspiration for the day.